from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Henrico man is dead after allegedly kidnapping, shooting, and stabbing several victims in Northern Virginia and a much anticipated restaurant opening in the county. We'll tell you about those stories and others in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. A 45-year-old Henrico County man wanted on a several violent crime charges committed suicide yesterday in Richmond after a police pursuit. Henrico police say Dana Paul Roman abducted a woman that he knew from this area and drove her to Reston in Northern Virginia early Sunday morning. At some point he stabbed her, then when he arrived in Reston he began shooting into a home injuring a second person. He then abducted another person in Northern Virginia and forced that person to drive him back to the Richmond area. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound just about 10.30 yesterday morning at North 35th Street and East Marshall Avenue in Richmond. On Friday, officials from Junior Achievement of Central Virginia unveiled their new Meta storefront at the JA Finance Park at Libby Mill Library. It's a new interactive space designed to help local students with Junior Achievement goals of personal financial planning and career exploration. It was made possible by a grant from Meta and will provide students the chance to simulate budget activities through an online shopping experience. Henrico Delegate Rodney Willett, a Democrat from the 73rd District, is among the members of the new AI Technology Initiative. That's a program of the Bipartisan Virginia Technology and Innovation Caucus of state legislators. The initiative is designed to explore opportunities, risks, and impacts associated with AI, artificial intelligence, and with technology use in government processes and decision-making, according to a statement from the caucus. Members of the caucus hope that the effort will help the state remain at the forefront of technological innovation while prioritizing the welfare of citizens. The group also includes Delegate Michelle Maldonado, a Democrat from the 50th District, Delegate Jackie Glass, a Democrat from the 89th District, and Delegate Keith Hodges, a Republican from the 98th District, as well as State Senator Bill DeSteff, a Republican from the 8th District. Three Republicans are seeking their party's nomination for the right to seek the 59th District House of Delegates seat in November. Graven Craig and Philip Strother are challenging Buddy Fowler, an incumbent delegate who's represented the 55th District since 2014. Now, redistricting shifted boundary lines a bit, and Fowler moved into the new 59th District in order to seek the seat. The new district includes parts of the Fairfield and Brooklyn districts in northern Henrico, as well as the western side of Hanover and most of Louisa County. Democrat Rachel Levy is running for the seat and will face the winner of the Republican primary in November. Right now on our website, you can learn more about the three Republicans who are competing for their party's nomination. The primary election will take place June 20th, though voting has been underway since May 5th. You can find that article right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. And a much anticipated event yesterday in Henrico's near West End as the region's first Shake Shack opened its doors at 5400 West Broad Street. The location held a ribbon cutting. It also donated a dollar for every sandwich that it sold yesterday to Kids Run RVA, a program designed to promote physical activity to local youngsters. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County. Henrico County is now hiring. You can visit henrico.us backslash jobs to view a complete list of all opportunities, full and part-time, that are currently available. To learn more about Henrico's commitment to its employees in the Henrico way, and find out why employees like Henrico Police Logistics Asset Manager Kristen Gaines say, quote, Henrico feels like my home. It really is my family. I can't imagine doing anything else. That's henrico.us backslash jobs.